Hi guys, welcome back. Now this is a quick video just to show you what you can and can't use to defend against ladders. Now if you didn't know you can't build stairs twig anymore, you can only use foundation and floor pieces. Now you can still overhang some assets in rust, as you can see there, but there is a little knack to doing it. Um, a lot of them you can just overhang anyway, but in this I will show you how you can battle through and use some of the actual items you've got to conquer the ladders a little bit. Don't get me wrong, some of these aren't practical, but they make them useful. Now, as I said, a lot of these items are actually impractical. I mean, the large sign does block the ladder, but it's only 200 HP. Now, early game, yes, you could use it, I suppose, but things like the picture frame itself is just is pretty shit, to be honest. Maybe it's a quick fix. Now, as you come to the targets, you can see they actually let you go through. I'm not going to walk through for some reason. It keeps kicking me for fly hacking every time I try and walk through something at the minute. Now the large box again stops the ladders from coming in, but again it's not very strong, so it can be shot out from below. That is the same with the small box as well. Come to the shelves. They actually let you place a bit through. I have tried to walk through, but it keeps actually kicking me for some reason, which is a bit annoying. Now the spinners. As you can see, these actually let you through. You can climb straight up. You come to the planters, and they actually block it quite well. But again, they're not very strong. Both planters are exactly the same. They both stop it. The table, it'll let you put it up a bit. So it could be a benefit for using ladders, I suppose. You come to the drop boxes, though, and they will not let you put any sort of ladder on them, around them, or over them at all. Which is actually quite good. Not the strongest things either, but if you need a quick fix, I would recommend using them because you can use the actual draw box itself as well. Come to the stone barricades, and you can see they also stop it. And again, they aren't, isn't the most strongest thing, but it works, and it's more practical, and it's cheaper. The wood barricades, they stop it as well, and it's going to hurt people as they try and get up if they just get in below it. The metal barricades, Again, do the same job. You see, I've actually managed to overhang them quite a bit. I'll try to do that towards the end. Now, sandbags aren't the strongest. They can be shot out from below. It does take a little bit of time, but it can be done. But they do block the ladders. Stone barricades, you see, they actually block it as well. Again, their HP isn't exactly massive, so it will result in them being shot out as well. Now, high stone walls. You can place them on high stone walls and walk through the barbed wire and just made up like hell. What I've tend to found is if you use your high walls against your base, people and put roof pieces balancing over, people can't put a ladder on this roof piece. So it basically makes it redundant. And also with the, the nerf, it stops that as well. You see? Sorry, the buff rather. People using the high gate to get up, they can get up to a certain element, but they can't get in. Stops them. Now the wood gate, I've only put it in because some people do use it in early game. Again, it's like the stone gate, the stone wall, sorry. You can get up so far and you can actually get through some of the barbed wire, but you need a lot of meds to do it. Now, as I said earlier, you can actually still overhang some of the barricades and it's quite simple. All you have to do is put a floor piece out and balance it over just a little bit. Don't get too greedy with it though. Just bring it over maybe so the legs are sticking over and that's it. If you take that away, it still stays there. That's absolutely fine. Now, if you do that without doing that method, it only lets you get right up to the edge. As you can see here, it's pretty much stopping you from making it effective at all. Now, if we put some walls in place and put a ladder in, you can actually see that it it doesn't really do anything. People can still use ladders to get up and probably come over it and made their way through the actual wall itself or the barricade. Now, that's pretty much it for this. If it changes at all with any more updates, I'll try and update this video as well. Um, and see, this is only designed to help you to try and defend against the ladders as best it can. Now, there may be changes that come with further updates, as I said. But the one thing I did find that using a stone wall and the roof piece coming across is probably the strongest way to defend against ladders in the early game anyway. 